basically you find morning we are here at uh, Maiden Hill Groups of Hospital to talk to a pediatrician here about uh, breastfeeding. This is our breastfeeding week and we are here with Dr. I'm Dr. Parthama Patra. I'm a consultant pediatrician here. Thank you very much and uh, we are going to find out the benefits of breastfeeding and anything else related to the breastfeeding with the mom. So I would like to ask first amongst our questions what is breastfeeding and how do we breastfeed when it comes to the child and the mother? Okay, breastfeeding is something like, it is, breast milk is called the amazing milk or a liquid gold, which actually the mother with all her love and affection, she passes and gives to the child, okay? Mm -hmm. So, so how would you differentiate between the breast milk the cow milk and the powdered milk that most children get at some times at the infancy stage. Yes, actually breast milk it has got the sufficient amounts of the protein, the carbs, the fats and the energy which is required and uh, for the child for his normal development, normal growth. Okay, mm -hmm. whereas cow's milk though it is way too better but is not milk for the newborns it is meant only for the adults or after after one year of age you can start with cow's milk mm -hmm. okay and powdered milk as i say powdered milk is something like it has though the various companies are there they they, they tell about like mm -hmm. we have this much amount of this and fats and mct mm -hmm. and all those complex things but but thing is that in in mother's milk what happens is that she has got all the adequate proportion of proteins, fats, vitamins, energy. Okay. And that is all in the mother's milk. Yes, and moreover, it has got something else called immunoglobulins. Immunoglobulins, there is M, there is G, there is A. So okay. All that. All that. It is being passed on to the to the child for the mother. So basically you find that is lacking in the cow's milk and the powdered milk. Yes. There's no way the powdered milk can be manufactured to include those cannot be immunoglobulins <laughs> it is not it's naturally it. found in the it mother's is naturally. It is the basically what she's taken so it is basically the immunity which the mom developed in her lifetime she mm -hmm. gives on to the child to mm -hmm. the breast milk okay that's good to know so the better milk is definitely the breast milk yes okay then um what would you say is the storage when now someone is working you know sometimes you can't be home all the time and your know, maternity leave is not for the whole year so in storage of breast milk because nowadays we have the breast pumps and now we can store milk what is the process what is the required so, timeline so breast milk can be stored in room temperature expressed breast milk actually mm -hmm. which the mom should express mm -hmm. okay and she should she can store it for six to eight hours okay Six to eight, eight hours. hours in open ah, yes. in the open in ah. the open yes what you and 24 hours inside a refrigerator and she can refrigerate it or freeze it at minus 20 degrees celsius for almost three months you can keep it will be safe ah, so if i'm just leaving it on the table it can be for six hours eight hours six to eight hours yes in the fridge 24 hours yes then now cold freezing it down that becomes a stone it's just like a, it's like ice that yeah. is for three months for three months but we should remember one thing, mm -hmm. once the milk has been, has been frozen in the free refrigerator, mm -hmm. we should not remove it frequently like ah, we should, in out, we should in warm out. it in out, it should mm -hmm. not be done because it will lose all the nutrients with that. So at, if we are freezing it, then we should just remove it once and we can just, Use it we can warm it and yes. we can feed the child and just carry on, finish. So once the child doesn't finish it, you discard it, you can't put it back in the freezer for another two uh -huh. months. Uh-uh, we cannot. That's not allowed. That's not allowed. Ah, okay, and then the one for the fridge, in case you're putting it in the fridge for 24 hours, you feed the baby, it has stayed for like the whole day, you discard it. Don't put it back in the fridge. No. For another 24 hours. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, <laughs> cannot do that. Know. Um, What about pacifiers? You find a lot of children nowadays are being given the pacifiers. Do they really help? Pacifiers, it's sometimes given to the fussy child 
okay mm -hmm. so that he just does not make any fuss about it <laughs> so it's like a toy for the mouth it's toy for the mouth just play with it it's too. just like the if the baby is cranky and he is irritated then you can just put something in his mouth mm -hmm. and he'll be suckling and suckling and suckling it but one thing is that once the child is introduced to pacifiers he will seldom start to again on press feed because on press feeding child uses his muscles mm -hmm. okay and muscles his strength muscles his jaws okay and his he's sort of he's doing a physical activity to mm. take suckle the mother's milk mm. okay so it's like also training also training so how early can you give a pacifier to a child immediately after birth or uh -huh. give it like three months or nine mm. months how long uh, if i say you should not give it okay oh, according to you you prefer the child not to have it's a pacifier never to have a pacifier because uh -huh. because you see during breastfeeding child is himself trying to suckle latch on suckle the milk okay mm -hmm. one second hello yeah i mean i'm a little busy i'll come in 15 minutes okay there's a there's an interview going on okay okay so you would not recommend a pacifier to no. you would not advise a mom to uh, to use a pacifier. pacifier actually i want to educate mom about that like we feel it very easy to just give a pacifier the child will be quiet for some time he won't be he won't be fussy about anything but a pacifier we are introducing sort of infection to his mouth mm. okay we say we can sterilize the pacifier 100 times a day but how do are we sure that who does not know if it has touched the bed sheet or something it's touched mm. somewhere mm. and we are putting that directly in the mouth which mm. leads to Infection. It's sort of gut infection in the child, and he can have a rotavirus infection also. So it's a no, no. Okay, it should not be used. But whatever, if the child is teething and you're trying to avoid them from biting other things, they can't use the pacifier. Okay, we can have we can have something <laughs> else also. We can at least in a, in a home a, a sterile towel, a wash towel. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can we can make it wet. Mm -hmm. And we can put it in his mouth and he can just chew on that and chew on instead that, of okay, instead of pacifier. So basically a pacifier is a no-no. Is a no-no. Okay, then good to know. Um, we would also like to find out about feeding bottles, uh, complications associated with feeding bottles. No, now, actually. feeding bottles actually is the same thing as pacifiers because, because why what? Why, for example, if a mom is going to work or she she just gives a feeding bottle, chai is on feeding bottle. But as I remember, during my studies, during when I was studying for my MD, mm -hmm. pediatrics, so we used to throw any feeding bottle if you see, okay? So it was that serious, like it should not be allowed because it causes a rotavirus infection, okay? Mm -hmm. And the same, the same logic applies as it was in pacifiers and the child can have a malunion of teeth. Malunion of teeth means if he's using a feeding bottle mm -hmm. and he's putting in his mouth then mm -hmm. one teeth should be towards east and one towards west like this we don't want that mm -hmm. okay so if you cause the teeth to go malunion uh, even the teeth will not be aligned properly like we close the, the teeth the yeah something will be back some will be front so it will look ugly more problems yes uh, okay good to know but now what happens because the mother is um um, breast pumping the milk and then gives it to the child we can we can do something we can have a bowl we can mm -hmm. have a small bowl mm -hmm. and give up by a spoon okay mm -hmm. now I just want to say if I'm not talking about breastfeeding I should just tell the mamas there the best thing is just the, to breastfeed just breastfeed or else or else if you are trying to you know if, you, if you're sort of working and you have stored the milk mm -hmm. then someone in this home mm -hmm. okay who can feed the child by a bowl and a spoon okay it is like you hold the child, you keep the child in your lap, okay, and his head should be propped down 30 degrees, okay. Mm -hmm. His his head should be balancing on your hand, mm -hmm. okay. You keep the child like this and you start feeding him like this. By this what happens is that the, ch you, the child will not be having a, uh, having a complication of, you know, aspiration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mostly what happens is that the mama feeds the child when she is lying down on the bed and he just... Or starts pouring oh, the okay. spoon in his mouth. So no, the child has to be propped up. Prop a bottle. No bottles. So now the recommended thing is a spoon and milk. Yes. So you prop the child of four months up and feed yes. the spoon. A four month child, how how big would be? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost five kgs or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a small child. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can so just it's, hold it's it in this lab. It's allowed. You can do that. 
at least it's better to help him prevent the complications of aspiration or something. Aspiration. Okay, next one. Next question. Um, what is aerophagia? Aerophagia. Now, what happens is that aerophagia is something like the when the baby latches on and suckles on the milk. So, with the milk, he he takes in some air too. Okay. So, with the air, when the air goes into the abdomen of the child, his abdomen bloats. Mm. It just bloats, mm. and for that, the baby can't sleep. He cries, 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 mm. and the the. The stress, Papa, Mama, thing. What happened? Why my child is crying? Mm-hmm. We just fed him. Mine is crying. He's been changed. He's, He's been yeah, things. everything. Okay, and they try to find out what happened. What happened? Why is he crying? And baby will be not stopping or not sleeping, not letting his parents sleep. So, it's something which is called burping. Burping. What is burping? Is that after you feed the child? You okay. The gas, yeah. yeah, you remove the gas. Make sure. Just learn this. How it is done. You hold the baby like this. His abdomen, his your abdomen, his abdomen should be on your shoulder, okay. And what happens? These tiny ones, they fold their legs. If you see that, mm-hmm. you can notice and that they fold their legs. Fold the legs yeah. They fold the legs. So you hold him like this. Make his legs straight or her legs straight, mm-hmm. okay. Make your hands like this, okay. Mm-hmm. And start doing like this pop, 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 pop. Until like this until out. until until the child burps at least five times okay it can take 10 to 15 minutes mm-hmm. so don't worry for one session of feeding the child should be fed for 20 minutes for 20 minutes okay why 20 minutes because initially the breast milk has two parts one a four milk one a hind milk the four milk is is more of a glucose and milk and the hind milk is more of a fats and proteins and all those things which is necessary for the development of the bones mm. and the muscles and all those things so a glucose water a child requires that too because it will keep the child active the energy, uh, energy energy yes oh. yes okay. so we should at least try to feed the child for 20 minutes in one stretch after that please do burping mm-hmm. for 10 to 15 minutes with that what happens that child will be sleeping Better sleeping comfortably. No swelling stomach. Yes, no and swelling no in stomach. He can sleep, and when he wakes up, he'll feed again. He'll feed again. You know. So they tend not to feed again after the stomach starts swelling and they're very uncomfortable. They start crying and yeah, they okay. get cranky any, after that. Any other position recommended for burping? I've seen mothers put them on their laps upside down. Yes, That's yes, it is possible. Yeah, like you can put the child on your lap, mm-hmm. and please make sure that he his abdomen is yes. on your knees. Is on your knees. Okay. Okay. And, then now you tap, and tap, you stop, tap, tap, tap. Until the until the burp. Generally. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you very much, Dr. Pan Mohapatra. Thank you. We have learnt a lot today about breastfeeding. I'm sure you have a question.